Thank you very much for watching my feature request for Adobe Photoshop. I call it the flip tool because it mirrors or flips the image. Let's look at a concrete example why anyone who draws or paints in Photoshop needs this feature. Here I am painting a portrait and I'm laying down some major shapes just to have something to start with. As I realize that not everything is in the right place, I select individual elements and push them around. The problem is that you get so used to the image that you stop seeing distortions. To get a fresh look you have to step away for several hours. But there's a trick. You can get the same effect by flipping the image horizontally. I keep repeating this step and flip the image again and again, every time noticing a couple of things that aren't correct. Now the tool I envision is nothing like Illustrator's Reflect tool that actually affects objects. It's more like the Rotate tool in Photoshop that only affects the few. Possibly this could be done with the same OpenGL technology that makes the Rotate tool work. Of course I understand you get a lot of feature requests and now you have to ask yourself, is it worth the time to put this feature into Photoshop and will enough people have a use for it? To answer this question, let's look at a short clip on Walton Ford by Tushin Publishing, who released a book on his mysterious animal graphics that look like old biology drawings. At some point in the clip, he explains why he uses an actual rearview mirror. Rearview mirrors are excellent for seeing if you've made some kind of mistake that you couldn't see with the naked eye. 2D character animator Joanna Quinn, who created Charm and the Bear, explains why she uses a mirror for her hand-drawn animation work. You've created it, somehow it sort of looks okay, and then somebody else with a fresh pair of eyes will come along and say, oh, those legs are too short, or those, those eyes are wonky, and you go, no, no. But then when you look in the mirror, and, you, and it gets twisted in an opposite direction, suddenly you see it as if you've got a fresh pair of eyes. And then you go, oh yeah, squashy legs, wonky eyes, so... And lastly, in this short clip that I recently found on the blog of oil painter James Gurney, Mark D'Alessio explains in detail how and why he uses a mirror for his live portrait paintings. So we have a very broad spectrum of visual arts. And yet, in each case, the artist relies on a quick glance at the mirrored image. So now we established how important this technique is for any kind of visual art. But why do we need a separate feature? We already can flip the image in Photoshop. Back before the Rotate tool was introduced, you always had to pick a 90 degree angle. Otherwise, the image had to be re-rasterized, which could take a lot of time depending on the size and always degraded the quality. Now, thanks to the Rotate tool, even large images can easily be rotated. However, a simple flip of the same image still requires a lot of time. Thanks to the Rotate tool, you can also have a second document window and rotate only one of them, while the other one isn't affected at all. A flip, on the other hand, always affects all document windows. Having a second document window that isn't affected by zooms, pans, rotations and flips is very practical. While working on the details on the left, I can look at the entire composition on the right. I can then put the right document window on a separate monitor for screen capturing or work in both document windows. One workaround would be to put the image into a smart object and then flip the containing layer, but then you always have to save to see an updated version. Also you're working with a file inside of a file, which comes with all kinds of complications. So here's how I imagine the flip tool to work. Instead of a completely separate tool, it could just be a secondary function of the rotate tool. A simple left button mouse click would do the same thing the rotate tool does now. Adding one modifier 
would flip the image horizontally. The other modifier would flip it vertically, and both of them at the same time would flip both vertically and horizontally. Of course, a horizontal flip is the most important one. Could this be done with the same OpenGL technology that makes the Rotate tool work? It would be great if we wouldn't have to rely on an actual mirror when trying to quickly flip a document in Photoshop. Thank you very much for viewing this video and please consider this feature request. If you are a Photoshop user and you like the idea, support by clicking the link in the description. And vote for this request by clicking on plus one. To log in, simply click on the link at the bottom and choose your favorite social media account. Drop your email address for updates on this feature. Thank you!